No way. And that's the end of the trip. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Howdy, folks. It's uh, your favorite Florida man. We're out here today. And uh, the mission for today's video, and the reason why we have an additional 50 gallons of fuel on the old Mountain Dew unit is because we are driving these boats, these 10 and 12 foot mini jet boats from the Tampa Bay to Key West, Florida, which is about 240 miles following the coast, except there is a 90 mile stretch that we are facing where there is nowhere to get fuel, there will be no land in sight. So we'll be able to follow the coast south for a while and use up most of the fuel that we're bringing. And then we're gonna stop in Marco Island, which is about the halfway point. We're gonna fill up these 50 gallons again, additional 50 gallons, plus my boat holds 20. Chad's boat holds 15 right off the kick. So we'll have about 350 pounds extra fuel on board. And uh, we're gonna try and make it all the way to Key West, which if you're from Florida or know anything about the ocean, taking a boat this small that far is just one of the dumbest things you can possibly come up with. But we just wanted to do it for fun, so. What do you think, Chad, you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys, so since my boat is proven to be able to carry two people, which is usually around 350 pounds, I'm gonna be holding all the fuel for both Chad and I. Chad's got the cooler though, the living the life snacks. and the snacks, but we're good. We're looking good, feeling good. We're gonna go to the shop, do some maintenance stuff and we'll hit the water in the morning. Oh, hey there, didn't see ya. We're just playing Raid Shadow Legends. Since Raid Shadow Legends has sponsored today's video, let me take you into battle and show you what I got. We're going into the sewers of Arnok. See my team of champions here? Dude, they'll take these guys out. All I gotta do is leave in automatic mode. And I'll literally destroy the competition, dude. While you guys watch my champions charge into battle, did you know that people have played Raid for over 12.5 billion hours in total? You wouldn't believe how many people play this game around the world. There's so many facets to Raid Shadow Legends. Summoning champions, building your teams, jumping into player versus player arena battles. Also this month, Raid's got a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities, brand new champions, tournaments against other players, and much more. Guys, today you can download Raid Shadow Legends by using my link in the description below. Or you can scan this QR code, which is on screen. If you use my link or the QR code, you'll get a huge head start. You'll get the epic hero, Chinaru, 200k silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. So you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in game once you guys get raid downloaded you can find all that extra treasure right here thanks again to raid chat legends for sponsoring today's video let's get to the live action this is our safety raft chad's been in here uh, pumping her this is fails. this is all else fails yeah hopefully this is not what we come home on that would really suck and then we also have a uh eperb if you guys know what that is a little gps thing that uh, you can trip and it'll alert the coast guard to our location if we're on that big 90 mile stretch and we end up really screwed this is our this is our option here <laughs> you ready i'm ready we ride till dawn let's go that's looking pretty prime chatty i mean that's intercoastal but I'm ready. ripping a muffin to get the day started yeah all right here we go that's the tampa bay skyway bridge starting point so that we can truly say that we came from the Tampa Bay. We got a safety raft. We got two forms of GPS. We have the emergency e perp thing in there. Got some cameras. We got the mini jet. We got a bunch of fuel. We got some drinks, some food. We ride till dawn. What else we need? We're good to go. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, this is the first time in salt water for both of them, too. Should be fine. Plug my key in. Well, it runs. Let's ride, baby. Shoo, buddy. Be riding in eco mode. Try and save some fuel. Definitely need to preserve fuel. Didn't start. What did it do? Alright, go over to the beach. Bad start. Chad's having issues. Hold on. So 
tools, you know. That's the worst bit ever for my boat. Best life. He is. Big jet boat guy. Alright, come back in one piece, both of you. That is the plan. Okay. Oh my god. Yes! John said he's good. Ladies and gentlemen, we ride till dawn. Let's hit it, baby! Looks a little choppy now. Get to that beach and see if it gets better. This looks way better. I think we got it, dude. We gotta push it. <laughs> Your boat running good? Yeah. Good. Well, guys, we got the boat pretty good.
my god, so we turned into the intercoastal, which is there's basically a land, basically a gap in between the land right at the coast. So we're gonna try and ride the intercoastal, see if we can uh, find some smoother water. We're just getting the crap beat out of us out there, so try this out, see how it does. Alright guys, we are about 70 miles from where we started and the boats are running excellent. We just fueled up because we thought we needed it. Uh, my boat only took about 8 gallons, Chad's took about 6. So, I mean, dude, the gas mileage is insane. Way better than we thought it was going to be. Chad cut his boat off while he's pulling in and just absolutely smoked the side of my boat. You'll get that on these big boats <laughs> down here, you know? Hey, if that's the only thing that happens this whole ride, we're good. good. All right, so we've been taking the intercoastal, but there's red tide in here. It's kind of nasty. We're going to try and pop out in the ocean and see if it's smooth now. It says half a foot on the weather buoy, so we'll see. Here, the Toledo torpedo looks good. That is a good-looking boat, dude. I know it's a no-wake zone, guys, but we're fighting the current, so we kind of have to make a wake to get through here. Current is ripping. I gotta give Chad a little bump. Better watch out, bud. Put a dent in the do you in it.
So this officer is giving us some direction. Super cool guy. Well, if you're going south, we're gonna follow you. Perfect. All right, this officer's going south, so we're gonna hop in behind him. Jump another minute in my life. Really? We it was got, that bad? We got our butts kicked. Like, Aww. the entire time since we left, we have just been bow, bow, bow. I was so curious about that it's because. It's been bad. Like, Chad will tell you. So am I. So am I. <laughs> well, it's a great time to be out of gas. I mean, we got more, but. There's no way we could have kept going. 
Like, even just getting near the goal, it was bad. Chatty. How's rock. it going? It's going. It's just not physically possible in these things. Yeah? Do you think yours took it better? What? The, the waves. No. No, his took it way better. Yeah. He's a little heavier, about one foot longer, so it was oh, a lot better man. for him. Oh, man. Still. And he's got the windshield. <laughs> the windshield is key. When we left the Skyway, I was <laughs> soaked in five minutes. No. <laughs> but. Oh, fun. well, you did it. Yeah, girl. What a rip. All right, let's see what you got. I don't think I've ever parked the boat on the trailer myself. Slow it up, slow it up. Woo. Nicely done. That'll work, good job. No way. Yeah, and that's the that. end of the trip. I know. I was trying to get him to pull him over here. But Good thing we bought that paddle. It wasn't working. <laughs> well, brother, we, we did technically drive to Key West. We the, did drive. The title said driving my boat to Key West. It, I just wasn't actually driving the boat. I was on the trailer. We're driving it on the trailer. <laughs> all in all, I mean, we gave a solid effort. We did about 150 miles. And it was brutal. It was brutal. I mean, we did not expect it to be anything like that. We probably should have thought about it a little bit more, but <laughs> it is what it is. The good, news, the good news is both boats are running, and we have fuel left over for Key West Adventures. So, Are you guys ready for some Key West Adventures? Yes, we're ready to be there. <laughs> okay, so I know Skiff is, and then Holly. Oh, Holly. Holly. Holly's sleeping. Bye. Oh. ready for some Key West Adventures. So... Uh, we're spending some days down here in Key West. It is mini season, and uh, that is a basically a that's basically a short lobster season for us Floridians. So we are going to go catch some lobsters on the boats. We're going to adventure around Key West, check it out. Gotta say, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't make it, but we had to make that call of either crossing the 90 mile stretch and getting in tonight at probably dark because we could only go 20 miles an hour, and that would have been about four and a half hours. And, uh, I don't know, man. It's probably not worth dying on jet yeah, loads today. I, I mean, maybe one day, just not today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so we, uh, I think we made the right call. We're cruising into Key West right now. We're literally five minutes away. This is the last bridge until we are in Key West. So we have lots of boating content coming at you guys. This summer boating content is awesome. We got so much drag racing coming up. It's kind of like one of the last big trips for the summer. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.